Do you remember those old commercials on the internet where it was like, this is how the mafia works. Level one lackey, boom, level 99 mafia boss. Well, this is kind of the topic of this video, okay? When you get a unit and you get it at E0, it's either gonna have zero or one abilities, right? It would be impossible for some units to think that they are worth investing in to get to E1 right off the bat, okay? Maybe eventually you'll find out for yourself but there are some units that seem like, eh, they're fine. But then the moment you E1 them, they like giga transform into like absolutely busted bullshit units. And I cannot wait to show them off. Now, I don't have all of them, but I can still, I still have the knowledge to talk about all of them. I'm also not talking about any six stars in this video. If you want me to do that, I can do it in another video. But for right now, I just want to focus on five and four stars, okay? Okay, this list, no particular order, okay? Just because some the number one doesn't mean, oh my God, it's the best. No, it doesn't mean anything, okay? It doesn't mean anything. It just means there's 10, okay? It's a clickbaity title, all right? It just works for me, okay? All right, silence. Did you pick her from the past? If you didn't, that's okay. But if you did, holy shit. When, at E1, or sorry, at E0, she seems like, you know, fine. But at E1, and also, I'm gonna do a play test showing off as many of these as I can at the end of the video. But uh, if you view silence at E1, holy shit. You now know this ability is absolutely insane. I'm gonna read it for you just in case you can't. Obtains a medical drone, okay? Can store at most one drone. The drone heals its surrounding allies when entering the battlefield and self-destructs it for 10 seconds. Oh, you know, that seems fine, right? Okay, let me break it down for you what it actually does, okay? It drops a robot, all right? It has everything around its perimeter, gets healed. And you might think, oh, what is it, like 10, 15%? No, that shit tops you off, okay? This can 0% to 100% heal with this drone, and it also recharges crazy fast. Holy shit. The amount of flexibility her E1 gives your team for, like, placement. Dude, in some scenarios, you don't even need to bring another healer because you can use silence for your main group, and then you can use her bot to heal the off group. It's insane, and I wish that more people knew about that shit. It's crazy. It's crazy. The ability is insane. Okay, next up, it's the ability that inspired me to make this video. Holy shit, have you used Texas? Yeah, she's pretty good. Okay, she's pretty good right off the bat because her stats are crazy, right? And she looks awesome, okay? But when you E1 this unit, what the hell? Okay, so let's talk about the transition. So her first ability is uh, instantly gain 12 deployment points when this thing hits the 42. Or you can use this one. Immediately gain 9 DP, deals 150% of attack arts damage to all nearby enemies twice, and stuns every target that is hit for two seconds keep in mind that's arts damage okay that goes through armor yeah by the way armor in the beginning meta is everywhere it's pretty much prevalent in the entire game once you get past chapter two and having the ability to do arts damage that shit that's going to help you it also hits flying it's also anti-air it'll break through armored flyers it'll play uh, it'll break through the uh, the big tumbuses on uh you know annihilation it's crazy i, I mean, it rips through armor it, it, it gives you 9 DP. It's an AOE stun everywhere. And by the way, you can use stuns as an attack reset. So you can time it. And it's it's snappy. It's crazy. The amount of the amount of versatility Texas has is insane. She, she's definitely one of the best vanguards. The E1 is insane. Uh yeah, I was I was leaning more towards Zima, and then I used that ability, and I was like, oh shit, okay, Texas is my girl. Uh that ability's nuts. Okay, let's talk about a good E1 ability now, because if I get any more hyped up, I'm gonna have a fucking stroke. So let's talk about Gaviel. Okay. So Gaviel is really good because you get it for free. So everybody should have this unit. So if you're watching this video, cool. You have this character. You just don't know it yet. You buy her in the credit shop. Okay. Skill upgrade. First ability, you know, plays a buff on somebody. They get a heal over time uh, via Gaviel's attack, which is really good. Last four seconds, charge, 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 goes up. It's awesome. Second ability gives her a lot more flexibility. And the reason why the E1 is so great is because the first ability is still good. So you can use her as a dedicated single target healer uh, for some fights, and then you can also use her for a AOE healer. So you can do the best of both worlds. You don't have to commit. She's very, very good bang for your buck. Bring her single target or bring her as a team healer. She has very good flexibility, and that E1 unlocks that, which is great because, you know, it's E0. She seems like, okay, well, she's fine. But then you realize she's one of the most flexible units as a healer. All right. Second ability, buffs all allies within range immediately, restoring HP by 90% of Gaviel's attack by 46% of Gaviel's attack when the target's HP is lower than 50% per second, lasting seven seconds. I don't think I need to explain that to you about why that's absolutely insane. But yeah, Gaviel is awesome. Dude, not to, dude she's, a, she's a crocodile. She's a crocodile girl. Okay, that's awesome. But yeah, 
it, you know, I said I wasn't gonna, you know what? It's a great ability too. It's, oh, it's an awesome ability. Now, Quora is a unit that a lot of y'all are gonna have as well. And man, I would have already, I haven't invested in her yet because I pulled a Saria, but um, and Quora is an absolutely insane tank. Probably one of the best in the game. Uh, now, I can't show you the E1 here, but I know exactly what it does because I love it and it's absolutely insane. So her first ability is just defense up plus 20%, okay? Now, she's a defender, she can block three units, okay? That's already great. When you get her E2, you activate it and it's gonna increase your block rate by one. So she's gonna be one of the only tanks in the entire game that can block four units. And then she's going to increase her defense by 55%, okay? So she's gonna become an unstoppable god. And then on top of that, she's gonna restore 1% of her max HP every second for 30 seconds. And that's at skill one. That can go up to 3% at max HP. So top herself off every single time she uses the ability. Blocks four units. She has to be one of the best defenders. Such an amazing stall unit too. And like, dude, she's also a turtle. Which is even, she has a turtle backpack, okay? That's awesome. Yeah, Kawara is insane. If you have her and you don't have like a five star, six star tank, you shouldn't worry about it. I mean, she's absolutely so thick, so reliable. First of all, I would just like to come out and say that I believe Shiryuki is a mouse. You may believe she's a ferret. I think she's a mouse. Regardless, moving on, then Shiryuki carried my ass all through CBT. She is such a sick unit. She looks so cool too. Let's talk about her E2, okay? Sorry, her, e, her E1. So her first ability is just range plus two grits, okay? But her second ability, what you're gonna do when you unlock it is, it is going to take her shuriken, she's going to throw it, it's gonna go as you know far as shit because her attack range is insane. It's gonna stay there, it's gonna rotate rapidly and slow every single unit in its place. Yeah, a long distance slow with crazy amounts of damage in AoE is pretty damn good. It is pretty damn good. The damage is insane enough, but the slow brings so much utility, it brings ridiculous amounts of utility because there's gonna be a lot of units for, uh, you know, LS4 where there's gonna be units that just don't have unit collision and it's gonna run right through you. But if you have Shiryuki, they're gonna be slowed down to shit and it's an absolutely insane ability. Plus it looks dope as shit. Hello, have you been on my channel? Because if you have, you have already heard me hype up Skyfire already. By the way, she's on the banner if you want to whale for her. Okay, Skyfire, one of the funnest E1 abilities ever. Let's talk about the first one first, okay? First of all, she's crazy, crazy AOE damage. So first ability, increase your attack by 50%. That's pretty damn good, okay? That's, that's, that's a lot of attack, huh? That's a lot of attack. E1 though, attack interval increases, so you're gonna attack slower, right? But it's gonna change your regular hitting abilities into fucking meteors, okay? <laughs> They're gonna fall from the sky and everything they hit in this massive AOE circle is going to be exploded, AOE nuked, and they're also going to be stunned. Fun fact, see the character I was talking about before where I talked about stuns, can attack reset, so can hers. And it's also AOE. And also, by the way, it doesn't happen once. It happens like 15 times before the ability ends. So yeah, stun, if it attack resets, it can also be a form of healing. So Skyfire does a shit ton of AOE damage, stuns them, and also, in a way, also heals you. It's pretty damn insane. And by pretty damn insane, I mean it's my favorite E1 ability. It's hilarious. It does so much goddamn damage. If you haven't used it yet, it is quite a treat. I recommend investing on her, and I'll show you how it looks at the end of this video. Vigna is so deceptive. And I'm going to say this right now, and you will probably think that I'm joking, but uh, yeah, Vigna is one of the highest DPS's Vanguard in the game. The highest DPS Vanguard, like, in the game. And she's a four star. Her damage is insane. You wouldn't know that because why would you ever think that a four star would be one of the highest DPS vanguards in the game? You just wouldn't, okay? That's not something that you just come into the game thinking, okay? Because you know, you're used to like, oh, six stars is the best. Four stars, okay. So her first ability is, you know, gonna increase your attack by 20%, which is, you know, it's, it's shit, okay? It's fine. Second ability is going to make her attack slower, but then it's going to make her hit like 200% harder. It is going to turn her every attack into like literally like a sniper shot on each unit. She's going to be able to solo shit out each time she gets a kill as well. You're also going to be refunded a cost point. So yeah, getting her E1 turns her into a solo slaughter machine and she will generate you CP so fast and she will do so much goddamn damage. Like literally go test her out right now. You'll see what I mean. E1 her. She's amazing. You can use her all game. She's awesome. Okay, Project Red, I don't even have to sell. I'm going I'm to tell you what she does, okay? You're going to E1 her. And you're going to get an ability, okay? And what that ability is going to do, it's going to do an AoE nuke around her, and it's also going to stun every unit around her, okay? So it's like you're throwing a flashbang grenade attached with napalm anywhere you want. And by the way, she can redeploy like every like 12, 18 seconds. So anytime you need to alleviate some pressure, anytime you need to slow shit down on the enemy team, you just drop her in, she stuns them, she bursts them, sometimes kills them. She's insane. Her, her damage is also crazy, by the way. 
Now this is a special one that I love. Okay, Meteorite is already sick because her range is like, dude, she can hit you from like two football fields away and she's gonna hit you with AOE grenades, okay? That shit's already sick. But when you E1 her, she gets like this group synergy where she can pair her up with uh, more physical damage dealers for, uh, you know, places that have less armor or even armor in general to get her. She can make them weaker, right? She can make the armor units weaker, which is really, really, really nice when you want to synergize with other physical damage dealers like, you know, AU Psy or uh, uh, Coco Dio Girl or uh, Meteor, okay? Skill two, immediately launches a fire bomb. Which, you know, it, it doesn't matter what type it is, but I still get excited about it. Dealing 190% of her attack physical damage to all hit targets within range, and their defense gets shredded by 130 for 10 seconds. When that shit goes out, you're gonna start ripping through them really, really, really hard. And by the way, yeah, in case you haven't noticed, Armored units are extremely prevalent in the meta. And also, she can anti-air, okay? This will hit units that are in the air and there are a lot of units that are in the air that are armored like crazy especially when you go to farm the uh, the sniper stage for the chip on the second level uh so this ability has crazy utility this is good pretty much everywhere this makes her a safe pick everywhere too because then if it's a heavily armored stage you can bring her anyways because then she'll shred the armor and she can still hit for decent damage um she's a great unit very 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 solid this last unit i don't even have and that shit makes me so sad because this is my most wanted unit this is my most wanted unit in the entire game right now she's a five star her name's lapland if you haven't heard of her and she's absolutely crazy because she breaks the game whenever she attacks the units are silenced which by the way if you've experienced exploding spiders yet she makes them not explode do you now want her to yeah she's god she's so insane she, her character model is so good um let me just talk about what she does okay because skill two is insane so first skill you know uh infinite Activation ability, more attack, uh, you can block physical damage, so she's a great guard, okay? Ability 2, attack plus 60%, change damage type to magical damage, okay? And then attack an additional target, and your range attacks don't reduce your attack, okay? So, she also counters armored units, which, by the way, once again, kind of circle talking, are very prevalent in the meta. And having a guard that can do regular physical, and then also do magical, and then also attract, attack multiple targets... Yeah, that's pretty damn good. And by the way, she also silences them. So yeah, Lapland is pretty good. I would even say she's pretty damn insane. Now let's do a showcase of as many units as I can. Okay, so we're gonna do a showcase now for as many of these units as I can do as possible. I don't have all of them because I'm not a dirty whale. And by dirty whale, I mean, a, hey, thank you for supporting our game. <laughs> Thank you. I wish I could. I'm just salty because I can't. I spent a good amount, but not too much. Um, but yeah, I just want to showcase as many as I can real quick. So we're going to drop in Texas because I want to show off her uh, her ability one. And then we're also going to do... Let's do Skyfire as well. I wonder if I can do this with just like this. I'm probably going to get punished here. If I lose a couple... If I if they, a couple get through, I don't really mind. I'm attempting to do a showcase here. If, if one gets through, I don't care. Okay, pop this shit. None will get through. Okay, awesome. We're going to keep going. We're going to attempt to beat this stage like this then, Okay. So yeah, as you can tell, once again, look at the AOE damage that uh, Texas ability one did. Or sorry, ability two. Uh, Skyfire blown up the entire time. I haven't even showed you the AOE ability yet. And uh, yeah, it also stunned them all. So yeah, that ability is crazy good. And it gave us all that cost points back. Now we're going to drop this in. Now watch. The circle comes in. The meteor goes out. 1,300 across the board. Stunned them all into insta-kill. Insane. We're also going to drop down uh, Zima. By the way, her ability, too, is also nothing to sniff at, okay? Uh, all Vanguard's attack plus 30%. All Vanguard's uh, defense plus 30%. Uh, and you get cost points back rapidly, okay? So that ability is also dope. So now we're going to go. We're going to keep regening. And then hopefully I will show off... Oh, I'll probably show off Gabrielle next. Gabrielle's a great one. Although I would like to show off Meteorite, too. I might have to do multiple playtests. I might have to do multiple playtests. We'll see. Uh, actually, let's see here. I'm going to get rid of Melantha because I want to be able to showcase all this. Uh, let's drop down Silence. Let's, let's do Silence. Okay, we'll drop down silence, pop this shit, we're gonna pop this shit, because we already showcased it, and then let's also, can I get rid of another one so that way I can showcase more? I probably can, so I'm also, I've already showed you Skyfire, I'm gonna put it in Gaviel now, and then I'm also gonna drop a Saria just for memes, so we're gonna go in, we're gonna beat him up, everybody's gonna get chopped up to pieces, hopefully they start doing a little bit more damage, that way I can show off silence in her full glory, uh, because it is insane, it is absolutely insane. Uh, Gavielle, once again, it's just an AoE buff that's going to heal everybody for a lot, but Ga or, but Silence, I'm actually going to delete Gavielle so I can show this off in full glory, uh, or else going to stop him. And that might actually give me a good example to show this off. Okay, now watch this, okay? Look at all their health, right at this? I jump one bot, and they all get topped up rapidly, and they're still being topped off, and they're still being topped off, and they're still being topped off. So as you can see, actually, can I beat this? Or do I have to look like a schmuck? Okay, we can probably, okay, this is going to be really messy, but because I wanted to showcase this, 
I'm, I'm gonna try to beat this anyways. I don't think I can. I don't think I will. But uh, we'll give it a shot real quick. We're actually gonna delete her. We're gonna go with AU Sai. Can AU Sai clean this travesty of an attempt up? Now watch this. Watch her health in the back left, okay? Do you see it being topped off? Like, look at that. And it's still going. And it's still going. And it's still going. It's so good. It's it's so... It, it, like, it was going that entire time. And that's a tank. And that's how much she got topped off for. It's such a great ability. It's so good. Like, the flexibility that shit gives you is actually insane. By the way, yes, I know I'm playing like an idiot. Okay, I'm doing a showcase video. Okay, I'm not going for a, hey, watch me clear CE4. Obviously, I've already done this shit free to play. I'm not, not worried about impressing anybody, okay? I'm just trying to show off some shit. Now, meanwhile, I sound pretty damn defensive right now, don't I? Yeah, that actually hurt my soul to not beat that shit. Uh, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I showcased as many as I could. Just wanted to get like a heads up out there for any people who like have that unit already, but they're not giving them a chance. Just know that they'll get incredibly strong once they're E1. Then uh, yeah, probably make another video like this soon to come for like six stars or something, or maybe three stars. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I've been Tech Tone. Y'all have been great. Hope you're all having a damn good one. And as always, peace.